Yo, 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 so, it's the weekly report. Let's get started. First of all, first thing I have to say is that this is going to be probably the last weekly report for about a month because I'm going on the Shmi tour with Shmi 150 and I'm just simply not going to have enough time to do these weekly reports. Um, so I'm not going to be doing any through April, probably. I mean, if I do have the time, I'll do it, but I highly, highly doubt it. Um, so don't count on it, but there will be the usual Wednesday videos and there will be vlogs every single day. Um, so it's going to be about 30 vlogs on my vlog channel. Press here somewhere to go and subscribe to that. So anyways, let's get started with proper news. First thing for proper news, I'm just going to come back to what I said last week about the Jeremy Clarkson situation. It has now been officially released that Jeremy Clarkson will no longer be uh, renewing his contract for Top Gear. We think Richard Hammond and James May won't be either, so the BBC have said that Top Gear will continue under some form, but will probably be without the trio. This is going to be very hard for whoever takes over Top Gear, um, good luck to them. And Jeremy and the other boys, I'm sure they'll have lots of other opportunities in other places. Another piece of exciting news this week is Pagani revealed the Zonda 760 Zozo. So a new 760, but unlike most of the others, this isn't actually sort of an upgrade package. This is a fully new car, which was which is a 760 from the start. Um, it's got the color sort of similar to the Pagani uh, Zonda 760LH owned by Lewis Hamilton. But it's kind of got the lights of the LM, um, with those weird lights at the back. Uh, I prefer the standard lights. I think these ha this also has black tinted um, lights. But I think, I mean, it's Pagani Zonda 760. It will be amazing to drive. Um, and I do really like the color, so that is a very cool car. Spy shots and vendors this week, the McLaren Sports Series Coupe was sported testing with the 675LT. So the Sports Series Coupe, as you can see on the photos, from the back kind of has that resemblance to the um, P1. From the front, it's kind of a 650S, but less aggressive. It looks kind of it looks really small and also interestingly all McLarens usually have the exhaust up in the back um, Sort of high up in the middle of the bumper whereas this is a more conventional place um, The Sport Series is going to have the same engine as the 12C and 650S Just down tuned to about 570 horsepower and it will be officially released at the New York Auto Show Another spy shot is the Rolls-Royce Wraith convertible um, estimated to come out in 2016 basically to make this short it's a drop head at the front Wraith in the middle probably gonna have a soft top same twin turbocharged uh, 642 horsepower um, v12 as seen in the Wraith and yeah that's all we really know it's just gonna be convertible probably same spec inside and um, 2016 Videos this week, we have an array of amazing videos. First of all is Power Slide Lover, a new YouTuber who put his LaFerrari around Spa from Grosjean Racetrack, has now done the same. The Neuschleife for Nürburgring, and uh, he put it up online. Click there to go see it. It's him just splashing his LaFerrari um, around the Nürburgring. He has lots of other cars as well. Second video is Manny Koshman, supercar collector, walks us uh, through his full car collection. He went from McLaren P1, Mansory, Vincero Bugatti, Celine S7, uh, Porsche Carrera GT. That is also a very good video. Last but not least in videos is Bugatti um, sort of put a little homage to the Veyron um, video together where they showed us how they assembled the La Finale, obviously the 450th and last Bugatti Veyron ever made. And hopefully the next video from Bugatti after this one will be of that new model, which we're all very excited about. For sale, um, Seven Car Lounge in Saudi Arabia have just put this McLaren P1 up um, for sale. It's all white as you can see, um, very sort of specked out, um, lovely car, they all look great if you ask me. Word on kilometers and yeah, it looks like a pretty good car. Second car I want to report on is a car that actually isn't for sale, I just felt like reporting about it, it's Dan Bilzerian's Lamborghini Aventador Roadster which he just sold to star DJ Paulie D who was on Jersey Shore before. Um, it was listed for about $450,000, I'm sure they sort of negotiated that down a bit. But uh, yeah, so Dan Bilzerian, no, no, Dan Bilzerian selling his Lamborghini to Paulie D. Pretty cool. Deliveries this week, this is a really good story. So the original Lamborghini Miura, which was used in the Italian job movie, has just been found um, and taken back up to England. It was sort of, it disappeared after the movie was made. It's orange, as you can see here. But it's now been bought and taken back to England by a collector. Um, and that's basically the first delivery. But I think it's a fantastic looking car. And everyone thought this one had disappeared. Um, so that's a good story. Second one is star chef Gordon Ramsay has taken delivery of his grey LaFerrari. It looks really cool. He has had a uh, few Ferraris in the past and what I find quite cool is that on his steering wheel on his new LaFerrari he has done exclamation mark written. 
um, presumably just saying, look, you've done it, you've achieved, you've achieved the highest height and you've got the nicest Ferrari there is. So, cool little homage there from Gordon Ramsay. Right, that's it for this Sunday report. Um, I will be seeing you on Wednesday with a very, very cool video coming. I'm really excited about it. It's something I've been hiding from you guys for a while, but I can't wait to show you. It's going to be awesome, awesome time. Uh, and then on Thursday, I leave to London and that's when I start vlogging. So expect the first vlogs to arrive Friday, Saturday time. Uh, and then I'm going on a full Euro trip, which we want 50. We're starting in London. We're going to Germany. We're going to Italy. We're going to Top Marks. We're going to Nürburgring. We're going to visit loads of cars and test them. Um, so it is going to be awesome. So remember to subscribe here again to my daily vlog channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. Cheers. Bye. Made it even more precise. As in German cars, Italian, British, etc. Favorite type of car, I'd have to say. I like a good Porsche, but.